So as a kid, my grandmother had me help her in her garden. She had a beautiful garden in the backyard. And one of my jobs was to prepare the soil. She would take me to the nursery and we would buy uh, soil, topsoil, um, for the garden. And I had to bring it out of my grandmother's trunk, bring it into uh, the backyard, and begin to dig up the earth, dig up the ground so that my grandmother could plant these beautiful flowers and plants. It was labor intensive, uh, but the beauty that sprung up um, when the season was right made the labor worth the work. In Matthew 13, Jesus is sharing a series of parables that have to deal with farming and uh, with soil. And one of the parables is a famous one. He talks about um, the seed that fell on stony ground, and because there wasn't much soil there, the seed was washed away. Then he says there was some seed that fell among thorns, um, but the thorns choked out the plants. But then Jesus says there was seed that was sown on good soil, and that seed grew up to be a bountiful, healthy crop. And he said, he who has an ear, let him hear. We're believing that God, by his Spirit, would till the soil of our hearts, that God would rid us of the thorns of bitterness and unforgiveness and envy, memories of our past that keep us held back, um, that God would break up the stony places of our hearts so that the ground in our hearts is receptive to the seed that the Lord wants to plant. We believe that God wants to raise up good crop here in the Salem Baptist Church of Chicago and so I want to encourage you that as you're fasting and as you're praying and as you're letting God work in you, that, that soil in your heart is being dug up so that good things can take root in your life and generations can be blessed by what God grows in you. So, Father, we thank you for this fast. We thank you for this cleanse. We pray, Lord, that you would have your way in our hearts. Break up things that need to be broken up shift things that need to be shifted, sift things that need to be sifted so that the good things that you want to speak and deposit in our lives can take deep root and grow a great harvest for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.